Hello, my name is Leah, and today I'm going to walk you through using the data load wizard in Oracle Apex. We'll start with a standard data load wizard, then later on in this video, I'll show you how to create a transform and lookup data load. Here I have an application with my data displaying and already sitting in my Apex workspace. But what if I needed to change it given a certain update? Using this Excel sheet, I would like to create a file upload and update my data. Going to my application, I'm going to click into Shared Components and navigate to Data Load Definitions under Data Sources. Here, I'm going to create a new data load. I'm going to give my data load a name and select the table I would like to update on. Now I'm going to create a data load definition for my Excel file. Note the supported formats here. I have a choice to create just the data load or the data load with its own page. Here, I'm going to create it with a page. Next, I'm going to fill out all the page attributes. Let's run the application and test out our data load. Using the Excel I showed earlier, I'm going to change an entry to verify that the data load worked. A preview of our data load is displayed, and we can see the change that I made. Now let's verify that the data load worked. Here we can see our data load was successful. Now that we know the data load works, I'm going to quickly go back and update my data set. With our standard data load functioning, let's move on to our transform and lookup data load. In the table we've been focusing on for our data load, we're going to narrow in on our state column. I have created a lookup table that corresponds the full name of each state to its abbreviations. In this example, we will upload a file that is similar to our previous table, but instead where the state name is in full. We will create a new data load that will use our state lookup table to transform the state name into its appropriate abbreviation. Let's navigate back to data load definitions in our application. Now we're going to create our transform and lookup data load. I'm going to give the data load a name choose the table I want to update on, and then create a data load definition for my Excel file. I am also going to choose to create a page with this data load. Now let's go back into our new data load to configure the transform and lookup. Under settings and loading method, ensure that replace is selected. Click into edit data profile. First, we're going to rename our state column to make it clear that this is the data that has been uploaded from our Excel sheet. Now we're going to create a new column. This will transform and look up our state loaded column. I'm going to give the column a name and select column type to look up. Now the table that I'm going to select is my state lookup table that I showed earlier. I want to return the state column which contains the abbreviations. Then for table column one, I will select the state full column. And for data column one, I will select state loaded column. I'll click create and apply changes for my data profile. Let's test out our new data load. I'm gonna alter one of the column entries to confirm that the data load worked. Here we can see the altered cell and that all of the entries for the state column are in the full word format. Now let's load the data and review it. Here we can see our load was successful given our altered cell and our transform and lookup worked. Now let's go back to our Excel sheet, change back the cell and confirm once more our transform and lookup is working. Here I have changed Massachusetts to Florida, so when I upload the file, we should have the abbreviation for Florida. Here we can see it worked. Through this video, we have successfully created a basic data load as well as a transform and lookup data load. 
Thank you for watching and I hope this video has been helpful.